Hello, my name is Arjen of the Greenhouse Seed Company. And I'm Franco. And we are here with another new kit on the block, the Superbot. We are delighted to present this plant because, yeah, we think it's going to be a very, very big new winner uh, for the yielders amongst us, eh, Frank? Absolutely. This one is a big color. And it's also a very strong smoke, a very complex terpenoid, cannabinoid profile. Um, the flavor is very intense and musky, really musky type of weed, but not really easy to define because of the complexity, a very complex spectrum. This one was cut as a clone 28 days ago, rooting for 14 days and then 14 days more under 18 hours in this two liter container. And now we give you a little bit of measurements, 18 centimeter only, so quite a short plant with a three centimeter internode and a leaf 10 centimeter long and two centimeter wide. Also here the NPK, we will keep on two on one ratio. Uh, humidity 60 to 70 percent. Um, the temperature in the room 26 to 27 Celsius and in the night until 20. Water temperature 20 to 22. EC 1.5, pH 5.5. And she will be repotted soon, very soon, in a 65 liter container in Rockwell. And the timer will go on 12 12 for the flowering period. So we'll be back after one week of flowering to see how the little developments are showing off on the Superbot. Hello, we are here with the Superbot, one of our new plants. And we are here in week one, day seven of the flowering period. Also this plant we have been pre-growing for 17 days under 18 hours. And now we are changing the nutrients to a ratio of the NPK 1 to 1. That means at the same time we are hiring our EC to 1.8 and lowering the humidity in the room to 60, 65%. At the same time, we keep the temperature in the room at 26 to 27 degrees Celsius. The measure for the super bud, she doubled in the last 10 days from 18 to 36 centimeters, 1.8 per day. The leaf is now 19 long and 5.1 wide with a slight overlap that reveals the indica side. The stem is 1.3 at the bottom and she's slowly getting into flowering. I can see some white hairs already. Hello, we are here in day 14 of the flowering period with the super bud. NPK micro ratio, 1 to 2, humidity in the room, 55 to 60%. EC, 1.8, pH, 5.5. Room temperature, 26 degrees Celsius, and in the night, 21 degrees Celsius. The light we use is a 600 watt HPS. And in 14 days, look what a gigantic little bus already we are developing on this plant, Frank. Yeah, very nice. Uh very nice development. I can say this one is one of the stretchiest plants in the second week of flowering because she went from 36 centimeters up to 74 centimeters. That's a 34 centimeter stretch, one of the longest. The internal though is very compact at 3.6 centimeters only. And the leaf went from 19 to 22 long and up to five and a half wide at this point. So what a nice, really round, really round structure. I love it. Yeah, I'm very much looking forward to see this plant back in day 21 of the flowering period, the Superbot. Hello, we are here in day 21 of the flowering period with the Superbot. Every plant now realizes that it has to start producing flowers because of the photo period of 12 hours. We are going to reveal our tricks to you to make sure you're going to blow up this plant and get the best yield possible. After 16 days of flowering, we have flushed the plant with 60 liters of water and an EC of 1.3. Then we have dried out the plant for five days and make sure a lot of oxygen goes to the roots. Now we're going to feed this plant with 1.8 EC and to make sure the flowers are going to explode. Definitely, she already has a really nice smell. The resin is beginning to form. The conformation of the, of the buds competing all around the main collar is really beautiful. And in the last seven days, she went up still 15 centimeters from 59 to 74 tall. So quite an increase, but look at the size now of the nugs already. See you back at day 28 of the flowering period with the Superbot. Hello, we are here in day 28 with the Superbot. One of the most important days of the plant's life. Because between week two and week five, the plants are exploding and producing a lot of flowers. So we're going to flush the plant for the second time at day 28 to make sure we're going to get a lot of oxygen to the roots. And we have a very big surprise for you this week. Definitely. We at Greenhouse Seed Company are very proud of our new testing. 
We are now able to test over 60 different turbines in the resin and the five most important cannabinoids. So starting from today, the end of week four of flowering, we can tell you that this plant has 1.67% Delta 9 THC. Hello, we are here in day 35 with the Superbud. A good moment to take the values of your room. Make sure your humidity is between 45 and 55%. Your temperature not under 20 degrees Celsius or above 27 degrees Celsius. A little air movement in your room to make sure you have no stilt air around your leaves and change the air a few times an hour. We have flushed this plant two times. After that we have dried it out for five days to make sure a lot of oxygen goes to the roots and next week we're going to flush it one more time and then boom it up with 1.8 EC to make sure the flowers are going to produce like they do now, Frank. Absolutely, the Super Bud is again one of the compact size plants we offer and really the production rotates around these branches that form a crown around the main cola. Really nice resin formation at the moment, lots of brown hairs already, so another fast one. Looking forward for the next uh, few weeks. See you back at day 42 with the Super Bud. Hello, we are here in day 42, the beginning of week 7 with the Super Bud. We have flushed this plant three times now and I'm going to show you how light it is after the drying. As you can see, the plant is only between 7 and 10 kilos now and for a container of 65 liters, this is very, very light because normally it will be between 40 and 60 kilos. Very, very important in the life of an Indica to flush the plant three times between week two and week six and then dry it out and make sure a lot of oxygen goes to the roots. At the same time, make sure your humidity in the room is between 30 and 45 percent. So the metabolism goes really fast and the plant can start producing all its flowers and crystals. Definitely. And what a production we have on the super bud. This is definitely the type of structure that you want for any logistic where you keep your plants low and wide and with a lot of production per square meter. You can see the density is incredible and the resin really, really nice and smelly already. A few data from the lab. Interesting enough, it's not very high on THC yet. It's only 5.54%, but it's one of the highest CBN in our collection. It's a staggering 1.98% already. And also very low in CBG and CBD, so guarantees for a quite psychoactive effect. Eh? And from each plant every week we're taking a lot of pictures and with our new technique we're taking a lot of macro pictures. Very exciting to watch this. You see the beautiful build up of the crystals in a unique way. Have a look at them. Hello, we are here at day 49 with the Superbot. Very, very hard nuggets. Finishing off, Frank. Incredible. This one needs maybe two weeks more. But hey, what a production on this plant already. One of the toughest, roughest, hardcore producers in our collection. And for this plant, we're going to perform a really good flush in the next two weeks to make sure we get rid of all the salts, all the little particles of fertilizers left in the medium and to get rid of all the interference in what can be the purest form of resin, turpents, cannabinoids. We just want the best full, full flavor from the Superbud. See you back at day 56 with the Superbot. Hello, we are here in day 56, the beginning of week 9 with the famous Superbot. Now, we could have harvested this plant already a week ago, but you see we let it go a little bit longer for the crystal. That's why in our catalog it says between 8 and 10 weeks. Also, if your room is not under optimal conditions, you have to go a little bit longer. But we have shown you a new technique by drying out your medium and you can see the results, you're like two weeks faster. The result is rock hard. Big, big nuggets on this plant, Frank. Eh? What a it's producer. incredible, this one. Like the Kalashnikova really? and a few other of our new varieties. Like the doctor. This is going to be a very, very famous plant. Now, we're going to show you how to manicure. Take the big leaves off first and then the small leaves. And after, we're going to tell you all about the curing process. Also, this plant we flushed properly for the last seven days. Really mild solution at first and then just water to remove every little trace of fertilizer. Give the full, full flavor and turpins. The Superbot, Greenhouse Seed Company, one of the biggest producers in the world. Okay.
the leaves and stems of the superbot. 440 grams. And this great flowering bud of the superbot. Sure. 850 <laughs> grams of this small plant. Not bad for Not such bad. a tiny little indicator. And now the most important part, dry it very slowly in a humidity controlled room. And then after, put it in paper bags, 10 degrees Celsius, and dry it for three to five months. All the chlorophyll goes out and you have the best taste to your cannabis. It's all about taste. Don't rush it. When you have this size cola, it takes time for the humidity to get out of there. The Superbot, Greenhouse Seed Company. Awesome. Hello, I'm Arjen of the Greenhouse Seed Company. And I'm Franco. And we are here with the dry material of the Superbot, 123 grams.